At the beginning of this year, we bought a new motorcycle. That motorcycle standing right here next to me. This is a 1975 Honda CB550. This bike has been parked for an estimate somewhere between 10 to 20 years. The last time this bike was registered was in 2004 and there has been no indication that the bike has been started anywhere in between there. So it's probably been sitting for about 20 years. Over the course of the last two weeks or so, we did a very good cleaning on the carburetors in order to get this bike running. So let's run through the process of how we got to where we are now. So we've pulled the bike outside, but let's go over all the work that we have done to it before we fire it up really quick. So this motorcycle needed to have a couple of things done. First of all, the front brake was all jammed up here. Remember the last video, I was struggling moving this thing around. So the very first thing I did was disconnect that totally from the bike. Doesn't work at all right now. So one thing the bike still needs is it needs its front caliper probably rebuilt and we'll take care of that before springtime comes. Don't really have too much time left, but we'll get to it soon. The second thing the bike needed was its carbs cleaned. Carburetors, when gas is left in them, especially if you don't run high octane fuel, gunk up very easily. But the problem with this bike was it didn't just sit for a summer, it sat for multiple years on end. So the very first thing we did was pull the carburetors off, we totally disassembled them, we had a rebuild kit, we cleaned them, we dipped them. So we went through and replaced the jets, we looked at the fuel lines, we redid the fuel lines a little bit, cut some of the pieces off, vacuum lines we inspected, we dipped all four carburetors every single piece cleaned every single thing to make the bike run efficiently then we got to the first startup I was a little nervous because we did all of this work to get to this point and just hope the motorcycle started so here's a video of the first startup in nearly 20 years I also got a little greedy, it was 30 odd degrees outside, so I also took it out for a little ride, because why not? Let me tell you, there's nothing quite like an old Honda. They're so smooth, they operate so well, but we had a problem the next day that we didn't realize the night before. Or we realized it, but we weren't quite sure what it was. So when I took it for a ride, obviously we let it warm up and everything properly, but I didn't hammer it or anything. I took it very easily. So I didn't notice that when you did go on the throttle a little bit, there was a slight hesitation. Now that could have been a jetting issue, but we found out that a cylinder was misfiring. Now why is the cylinder misfiring? Well we checked the spark, it has spark, and it's not getting fuel. So we need to find out why it's not getting fuel. Maybe the jet's too small, whatever the case is, we haven't dug into it yet. But the motorcycle motor runs very nicely on three cylinders. So let me fire it up and let you guys hear it. The motorcycle might not start because the battery is a little low. Get some gas into the carburetors. It does leak ever so slightly from the fuel lines. Fires up every time. We're currently running it on choke. The motorcycle is very quiet, but it sounds pretty gnarly, honestly. The stock exhaust sounds good. People will ruin these bikes by taking the stock exhaust off, but just look at the stock exhaust. It looks so good. 
And I see that with the motorcycle dying. Let me see if this will fire it up. Battery needs to be charged back up. So as you can see, it's leaking a little bit of fuel. It's not actually leaking from the carburetor, it's leaking from the lines. See, when you give it a rev, it doesn't quite want to push that because it's missing a cylinder. You give it a little bit and it revs up nice, but you try giving it a lot, and because it's missing that cylinder, it doesn't want to quite pick up. It's running a really good triple right now. <laughs> But it's not meant to be a triple, it's a four cylinder. The carbs probably need to be played around with a little bit with air fuel ratios and syncing them up and everything. They're probably pretty good, they're pretty close, but I'm sure they need to be adjusted to make them precise. We need to connect the carbs back to the stock air box, which is a big thing. It's a pain to get those back boots on, so we didn't put them on because we wanted to hear the bike fire. Now that we know it runs good and it rides pretty good, it ran through all the gears correctly, but the problem we're having is the one cylinder is missing and we need to find out why. Fueling issue, carburetor needs to be tuned a little bit, something along that extent. It's not major, it's definitely just a tuning thing that needs to be dialed in. Overall, the bike runs really good and that makes me very happy. Tends to charge the battery up just a little bit. Pick up now that the battery's charged and it runs smooth. The bike's warm, it runs nicely. And it, I mean, I always say this there's nothing quite like an old Honda. If you could even hear me, like I was saying, there's nothing quite like an old Honda. They always want to turn on, they always want to run. Even though it's missing a cylinder, it almost feels like it's not even skipping a beat. I see why these bikes have gotten expensive, and I understand why people want to collect these. It's a part of history, but also they're so good. These are better than most new motorcycles. I'd rather have this than a lot of new motorcycles because it's just such a good bike. I'm excited to produce more content with this motorcycle, ride it more, ride it on all four cylinders, ride the other Hondas in the collection, get the other bike started. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, I mean, what are you even doing? Go down subscribe so you can see more awesome videos on the Hondas, the old British bikes, new bikes, a ton of motorcycle content coming to the channel. And in the next video, well, I have a little bit of a surprise because I bought another bike.